about uh, drastic change of the barrier layer of the western coast of Sumatra due to the MGO passage during pre wine season. Thank you. My name is Kusaku Motoki from Jamstek. I'd like to show here that the drastic change process of the ocean surface uh, ocean surface structure by the energy forcing during the pre YMC campaign in the uh, in the two thousand fifteen. Uh, first of all, the barrier layer is a diff difference between the mixed layer depths uh, and the uh, summer layer depths, and uh, this barrier layer uh, uh, prevent to particularly. Uh, particularly heat flux and momentum flux. So this barrier layer is a key, key role, uh, has a key role, uh, one of the key factors uh, for the air, air interaction in the atmosphere and the ocean surface. So that's why I do this study. And on the uh, basis of the uh, pre biomass observations, uh, I got the um, phenomena like uh, uh, that barrier layer thickness increased drastically only with uh, within only 24 hours from five five meter to 60 meter within one day and uh, up to uh, finally uh, eight, 85 meter finally during five days. So such drastic deepening of barrier layer has not observed everywhere. Maybe in the last, uh, previous studies. So, uh, and uh, what I want, I want to conclude here is, uh, uh, there is two factors. The barrier layer thickness increased by the particle mixing by the MGO forcing. This is direct, direct forcing uh, from the MGO. And, the, and uh, as a background, the downwind some crime is continuous, uh, continuous downwelling sun grind by the oceanic carbon wave, and th this is a uh, <laughs> indirect, uh, indirect um, effect. But but that this oceanic carbon wave is originally uh, excited uh, is excited from the M MGO western wind blast. So these two factors um, of of MGO and the oceanic carbon wave are in phase is inducing this drastic deepening of the barrier thickness. So let's get started with the uh, MGO status. On the, uh, on the 13th December in 2015, um, we, are, we were fixed uh, observation station here, uh, only a 50 kilometers off the western coast of Sumatra, and uh, uh, well organized MGO convection uh, propagate east, propagate eastward, and uh, and uh, also is associated with the southwest western winds here. So, ocean, remarkable ocean, oceanic response. Uh, oceanic response is induced by the MGO forcing. Uh, and uh, and uh, this MGO, MG, uh, remarkable MGO, the taking uh, the TBV be, uh, between the five degrees south and five degrees north, uh, uh, the well organized MGO convection propagate eastward, and it's uh, associated with uh, western uh, strong western winds like this, and we. Uh, Every research with a mirror is fixed during the 23rd November to uh, 17th December. And uh, rather half of the uh, observation period, uh, we, we, we will capture uh, MGM forcing. And so, like this, uh, we, do, we did the HCTD observations three times, uh, uh, eight times per day. Uh, for the observation period. 
Yes, the depth uh, time depth cross section of tem sea temper sea water temperature and uh, a mixed via depths uh, defined from the uh, defined from the uh, uh, <coughs> uh, density difference that is the, uh, that is equivalent to 0 0.2 degrees Celsius. Uh, is shown by the dot, dashed line here, and the uh, dotted line is uh, isomer depth that is defined from the just temperature difference of 10, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 degrees Celsius. And the blue line of the 29 degrees Celsius shows a continuous uh, downwelling of some grind here uh, through the observation period. The before the MGO arrives uh, 17th de December, uh, MOD and the isomer radial depths uh, quite shallow, less than uh, 30 meter and the ten, almost 10 meter of the MOD. So the difference of, uh, difference of the barrier layer thickness from the, of, between the MOD and the IOD is less than 20 meter, only 20 meter. But it is drastically increasing on only one day on 17th December, uh, more than 60 meters, uh, just arrived the MGO. So this, uh, on the very shallow uh, MLD is uh, coming from uh, uh, very strong stratification of uh, salinity in the surface layer here. This is a, a salinity uh, with unit of PSU by Cora, and uh, you can see that uh, before the uh, MJ arriving 13 degrees, uh, 13 December, uh, the salinity uh, rests on 32 less than 32 uh, PSU, uh, that, is, that is quite small because of, because of continuous uh, large amount of precipitation every day. So, uh, and the, this uh, uh, strong salinity stratification in the surface layer is called freshman structure. And the freshman structure is uh, bro broken on the uh, under the MG forcing uh, on one within one one day, and that is from uh, and what is the MG forcing is uh, this is a turbulent kinetic energy dispersion rate by Carl and. Uh, this uh, solid black line is the sea surface wind speed with the right axis. And uh, there is a twice uh, wind peaks more than 8 meters on 13th and 15th December. And uh, remarkable uh, particle mixing signals here and here appears on uh, ju just under the uh, storm wind peaks and so these western winds uh, makes the particle mixing in the surface layer and the uh, road uh, break the uh, surface freshman structure and then uh, as some uh, depths uh, drastically increasing to uh, up to uh, 80 meter but uh, the problem is that uh, these battle mixing signals uh, don't sufficiently reach up to the bottom of some radar depths. So the, there is a distinct factors to uh, to deepening of the uh, some radar depths because um, uh, some kind of uh, this. Uh, 20 degree nose is continuous one, so that is much more oceanic internal forcing. 
so this is the uh, uh, time longitude cross section of the uh, sea level sea level anomaly uh, by Cora and the uh, sea surface wind uh, western winds by black contacts. Just uh, that is from zero fifty five and the sea level anomaly is from uh, Echo two data sets. So you can easily see that uh, uh, positive anomaly of the uh, downwind curve. That, sh that shows the downwind curve wave. That's right, just a smart bar in the rather half of the uh, observation period, and the, and it's just under the western winds. So the the downwind curve wave is excited by these the strong western winds, and they, uh, it propagate eastward. Uh, in the latter half of the pe observation period. So, as a background, uh, salinity stratification is stretching uh, effect uh, by the downward curve wave continuously uh, the, through the observation period. And the above the 20 meter uh, near the surface, uh, there is a freshman structure before the MGO, but uh, but strong vertical mixing uh, uh, due to the MGO forcing uh, associated with the western winds is breaking uh, rapidly in the in, on the 13th December, and so these two factors. Uh, Make a drastic deepening of barrier layer. So, in summary, uh, this is the vertical profiles before the MGO with the freshman structure. There is a strong salinity stratification, and uh, it so mixed layer mixed layer depths is very very shallow. So, uh, sea surface temperature is. Uh, it's quite high, more than 30 degrees Celsius. But uh, after the MGO uh, passage, uh, uh, only the uh, temperature is well mixed, mixed like this, and uh, so IOD is deepening by, uh, by the oceanic carbon wave, and the stre uh, continuous stretching is a card here, uh, salinity stretching. Is a cut here, and uh, but the uh, uh, certain stratification remained on in near the surface, so MLD is uh, uh, keeping less than twenty less than twenty meters. So uh, freshman is breaking by the vertical mixing by the MGO, uh, uh, but so uh, as a result are very thick. Variable layer uh, appears on within only one day. So that's all. Thank you. Yes. Um, I, I put it to you that what you're seeing is more the influence of cold water being affected in, or yes, being affected in, which is changing mm -hmm. the depth that you are calling an isothermal layer. If you look at your temperature, it's not isothermal at all. Uh, it actually increases with depth before it starts decreasing. Increase. So the, main, the, the reason you're getting this, what you're calling a drastic change in the barrier layer thickness, is more to do with what is happening at the surface. Where the, the yeah, I, surface I know what you mean. I've said this three yeah. times. Yeah. Uh, but but several papers uh, uh, say what you say, but uh, several papers uh, would de ju just define the depth like this. If you go back to your, uh, your time series of temperature. Here? Yeah. Yes. I don't see that, that you're getting uh, um, the change in the barrier layer thickness is more to do with the change in the I know uh, the warning, so you are uh, thinking about the warning of this. How, how can you call 
that layer isotherm? Um, it, it's just uh, the, the uh, temperature difference of 0 0.2 Kelvin degrees. But uh, uh, several papers uh, uh, indicate that barrier layer thickness has a, a temperature inversion with uh, barrier layer has a temperature inversion within the uh, uh, within the I some layer there so sometimes the definish, definition of the uh, is the okay. different what what you say on the several papers okay maybe you can continue yeah, thank the discussion you. thank you very much <laughs> Uh, so the next paper, thank you very much. The next paper is given, the next talk is given by Andreas Schuller on the statistical forecasting of tropical rainfall using.